Here at the Loy Lalong guest house, floodwaters have tested the resilience of old versus new. Oddly enough, after being submerged in water for nearly a month, the old teak wood from the original structure remains intact, whereas the new wood, seen here in the kitchen, was badly warped and needs to be replaced. The flood crisis in Bangkok has passed, but from where I'm standing, ankle deep in the Chow Phraya River, you wouldn't think so. Small businesses along the river, such as this guest house, are still inundated and are unsure of what they will do next. The owners knew flood water would pose a risk when they opened the guest house six months ago. They have insurance that will cover physical damages but will not compensate for the income that was lost during the crisis. Businesses do not qualify for government compensation, which covers residents in the area up to five months a lot. How to say it's ready to move and all the plug light for electric city or something we move it up high that's what our plan so when it, it's come to the flooding or the overflow so we'll be quite okay we can just you know like grab things and move them up upstairs former advertising executive Z and his girlfriend A quit their jobs and used personal income to open the guest house escaping the office the owners say they will begin cleaning the Loy Lalong guest house in hopes to reopen by December 1st. They are wary of the high tide at the end of the month. Regardless, the need for customers outweighs their fear of floodwaters. Larger hotels along the river with rooms similarly priced to this boutique guest house have the clout of a brand name and corporate assurance to keep tourists coming, whereas Loy the Long must rely on word of mouth and social media to reassure guests they will be open for business. Lauren Wilson for Channel News Asia, Bangkok.